Welcome to another rugby video on the channel. My name is Andrew. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to help show your support. Click that notification button to be notified whenever I upload and like the video as well to help the channel grow. And don't forget you can also follow me on Instagram if you're interested. Also, don't forget to comment and let me know your opinions at the end of the video. Today we are talking about who I think will be reaching the World Cup Finals and how I think the group stages will pan out. So as you can see, Pool A consists of Ireland, Scotland, Japan, Russia and Samoa. Pool B, New Zealand, South Africa, Italy, Namibia, Canada. Pool C, England, France, Argentina, USA and Tonga. And finally, Pool D, Australia, Wales, Georgia, Fiji and Uruguay. So let's take a look at the fixtures of Pool A. So here are the games in order of when they're played. These are the outcomes I think are going to happen. I think Japan will beat Russia quite easily. They are the home nation and they're going to have the home advantage on their side. Then we have Ireland versus Scotland which I think will be a very very tricky game. This game all really depends on the outcome in the Six Nations and as of right now that hasn't been played so we don't really know. But going by performance I think it will be a very difficult game and Ireland will think will probably just edge it near the end of the game. Next up we'll have Russia vs Samoa. I think this will also be quite a tricky game between the two teams but I think Samoa will just edge it as they have the more professional players. Up next then we have the host nation versus Ireland. I think this will be a very end to end game with lots of running but I think Ireland will just win it by about 10 to 15 points making the host nation lose at least one game so far. Then we'll have Scotland vs Samoa, I think this will be a very easy game for Scotland and I think they will easily win. Then the same with Ireland vs Russia and then Japan vs Samoa, I think this will be a tricky but also easy win for Japan where I think the game will be won in the second half. Scotland vs Russia, another easy win for Scotland I say. And then Ireland vs Samoa, tricky game during the first couple of minutes and then I would say towards the end Ireland run away with the game. Japan vs Scotland, I think this will be unfortunately one of another losses for Japan and Scotland will edge the win with about 15 to 20 points. This meaning Japan getting knocked out of the group stages. So in the outcome of this group I think Ireland will top it, Scotland will finish second, then both reaching the knockout stages, Japan, Samoa and Russia then obviously finishing their World Cup campaign here. Next up we have Pool B and this is a very very interesting group with Italy, New Zealand, South Africa, Canada and Namibia. This is how I think this group will pan out. So the first game New Zealand versus South Africa I think shock surprise here guys I think South Africa are actually gonna edge it and beat the All Blacks. I know a lot of you will disagree with this but I don't know, I'm, I am I would put money on it personally, I feel that it's going to happen and South Africa will win it by about 5 to 7 points. Obviously this is only an opinion though, so please don't look too much into this. So next up we'll have Italy versus Namibia. I think Italy will easily win this one by about 20 points, Namibia being the more unprofessional side. Next up we'll have Italy versus Canada and I think this will be an easy win for the Azuri. This will then put them in pole position because of the outcome of the games and the order of them. But unfortunately I think this will be the only two games Italy will actually win. The following game to this then will have South Africa play Namibia. I think this will be another easy win for South Africa and it will probably be a cricket score. Then we'll have the All Blacks vs Canada. Again another cricket score game. I can't see Canada offering much only just scraping into the qualification process. Up next we'll have South Africa vs Italy, another easy win for South Africa but I think Italy will offer some parts of the game with a few points, probably saying about 15 points scored by the Italians. New Zealand vs Namibia, another cricket score game. South Africa vs Canada, I'd say this will be another high scoring game as well. Uh, and then we have New Zealand vs Italy, I reckon the Italians will offer some more again but unfortunately losing out by about 20 points. And then Namibia vs Canada, I will say Namibia will win this because they qualified sooner than Canada and didn't have to go through any of the repechage playoffs. This obviously showing that they are the stronger side. So this is how I think Pool B will then pan out. South Africa surprising everybody and top in the group, the All Blacks then falling second, and then the Azuri, Namibia and Canada falling. 
and unfortunately not processing in the group. Next up then we'll have pool C. This is what many people are calling the group of death this time round, with France, Argentina, England, Tonga and the USA. All really really good teams. So this is how I think the results will pan out. So the opening game with France versus Argentina, I think Argentina will easily win this, probably around 10-15 to 15 points, as France haven't been playing well lately, but during this, this is only January, the start of it anyway, so we haven't actually had the Six Nations campaign yet, so we don't know how France are actually going to play. But because of their Autumn Series tests, losing to one of the Pacific Island teams, I'm going to say they're going to lose to Argentina this time round. Then we'll have England versus Tonga, I think this will be a very slow game at the start and I think England will then win it towards the end. So I think the final outcome of this game will probably be England to win by about 15 points, probably scored in the second half. Then the following game then we have England versus America, unfortunately for the Americans I think this will be an easy win for England, probably around 30 point mark. Then we'll have Argentina versus Tonga. I think this will be a very narrow game between the two of them, but I think Argentina will come with the win towards the end. France vs America then, I think this will be another easy win for France, unfortunately for the Americans, because they are developing very well, but I can't see them doing well this World Cup just yet. England vs Argentina then, I think England will win this, but it will be a very very narrow game and it will probably be won due to penalty kicks. France vs Tonga then, I think Tonga will win this, uh, France, I don't know, they haven't really developed much lately and their players are getting on a bit, they do have some star players but I just can't see them edging it this World Cup campaign. Next up we'll have Argentina vs America, I think this will be an easy win for Argentina, England vs France, I think England will win but going by the Six Nations, as I said, we haven't had that yet so we don't know the actual outcome properly anyway. And then the final game of this group is USA vs Tonga. I think Tonga will win this and unfortunately that means America won't win any games during this campaign. So this is how I think the Pool C will turn out. England and Argentina finishing first and second, those two reaching the knockout stages, France, Tonga and USA then falling short. So let's take a look at the fixtures of Pool D. We have Australia, Fiji, Wales, Georgia and Uruguay in this group. This is also a very difficult group to estimate, I would say, but uh, anyway, this is my predictions. So I think the first game with Australia versus Fiji, I can see the Australians winning this. It'll be a very end-to-end -end game with Fiji scoring a couple of tries, uh, but Australia, I think, will edge it with penalties conceded by Fiji. We'll then have Wales versus Georgia. Unfortunately for the Georgians, I think Wales will easily win this, probably around the 25 to 30 point mark. Then we'll have Fiji vs Uruguay, I think Fiji will easily win this, probably around 15 to 20 points. As the Uruguayans offer quite a big strength in depth and they have good scrummaging as well. Next then we'll have Georgia vs Uruguay, I think Georgia will win this, making it the first win of their 2019 campaign. And then we'll have Australia vs Wales, going by the Autumn Series, I think Wales will beat Australia as Australia is slowly going downhill. Then we'll have Georgia vs Fiji, I think Fiji will win this, but it'll be a very end-to-end -end game and very close, and I think it'll be down to penalties conceded. Next up then we'll have Australia vs Uruguay, I think this will be an easy win for the Australians, and I think they'll win about 20-25 to 25 points, this making it then the second win for the Australians. Then we'll have Wales vs Fiji, I think Wales will easily win this, but it'll be in the second half. They'll slowly come away with it with fitness coming at the test. Then we'll have Australia vs Georgia. I think this will be a very difficult and narrow game. And then the game will be won in the second half with Australia coming away. Probably scoring around three tries. Then we'll have Wales vs Uruguay at the end of the group stage for these teams. Then we'll have Wales vs Uruguay. I think Wales will easily win this. Probably around the 30 to 35 point mark. Although I do think Uruguay will score at least one try against Wales and a few penalty kicks. So this is what I think Group D will turn out like. Wales topping it with Australia finishing second, those two reaching the knockout stages. And unfortunately for Fiji, Georgia and Uruguay, I think they will be falling short and going home. So this is a possible outcome in my opinion for the groups. I think for Pool A, Ireland and Scotland will top it. Pool B, South Africa and New Zealand. 
Pool C, England and Argentina, and Pool D, Wales and Australia. So what does this mean for the topping teams, as well as who is playing who, I hear you ask? Well, if you all subscribe, there'll be a video up very, very soon explaining what will happen to these predicted teams who finish top. So make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification button for when that video is uploaded. Going by the amount of views my last video had as well, if you all click subscribe, it'll be really helping the channel and there'll be so much more content being able to be created. So thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and comment let me know your opinions as well. As I've said before, these are just opinions so please don't give too much hate and once again thanks for watching, I've been Andrew and I'll see you next time.